So many people have asked me what it looks like to digiscope using the Mountain Mag digiscope and a Samsung device. This right here is the Samsung S24 Ultra. It's big, it's heavy. What does it look like to digiscope with? Well, the first thing we need to figure out is how to make this phone MagSafe compatible. Our first option is a MagSafe adhesive. You can stick this to the back of your phone, you can stick this to the back of your case, and all of a sudden, your phone is MagSafe compatible. Your second option is to use a MagSafe case. Now, the MagSafe on these phones have to go directly over the wireless charging pad inside your Samsung device in order for the wireless charging to work and work efficiently. If it's misplaced, your wireless charging isn't gonna work as well, and your Mountain Mag Digiscope is not going to be perfectly centered. So when you buy your MagSafe case, make sure it's from a reputable manufacturer. If you get a cheap one, sometimes the magnets can be a little bit off, and when you attach your Mountain Mag Digiscope, you can see right there, the alignment will be just a little bit off, and that will affect your digiscoping capabilities. However, this is what it should look like. This is a Pataka case, I believe, where you attach that and then you center it. We go over your 1X lens, and then if you slide it over, we target your telephoto lens. We actually do not use the super telephoto lens. This offers a, a 10X uh, optical zoom, and that plus any magnifier on the optic you're already using is gonna get you a magnification number that's well past 100, and we find it to be almost unusable. So, what does it look like? You get your Samsung device, or you get your Samsung device, you attach your mountain mag adapter, just like that, and then you find the lens that you wanna digiscope through. Now, if you open your camera, just like this, you can go into your pro video mode and this will keep um, your uh, lenses from switching around on you automatically. So if you hit the more button right here and then go into pro mode, then you can select what lens you wanna use. So right now we'll use the wide telephoto lens. So that's gonna be this lens right here. And then you can see I have my eyepiece attached to my binoculars right here. We can go ahead and we can snap this into the system. Now you can see this is incredibly strong. It's the, the weight of the phone does not uh, alter it in any capacity. This is what the entire system looks like. And it is a physical connection as well as a magnetic connection. So we have uh, little magnets that go into little grooves and you can see right there that it is a physical connection as well as a magnetic connection. And that's really important when you're talking about phones that weigh so much and there just being a lot of torque on the system. So if you come a little bit closer, you can kind of see what this looks like right here. You can see what the digiscoping experience is um, and you can take pictures and be able to get awesome pictures through your Samsung device using your mountain mag digiscope. If you ever wanna switch lenses, what you can do is just go over, hit your telephoto lens, switch right here to your telephoto lens on your Samsung, and then reconnect it to your device or to your optic. And now all of a sudden you have a telephoto lens on top of the optic you're already using. It's just a great experience. You can take photos and capture your epic moments.